Hi guys, today I'm going to do my December wrap up and January TBR. December wasn't a great reading month for me which was kind of surprising because I thought oh I've got loads of time off work for Christmas I'm gonna get loads of reading done but I have a Nintendo Switch now and Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, all the new games I got for Christmas are just kind of taking over my life especially Zelda I now have Twilight Princess on the Wii U and Link Between Worlds on the 3DS and I just want to play video games all the time so I'm not really reading much apart from in the bath so I only managed to read two things this December the first one is The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer I'm really glad that I got round to this because it was one of the unsure ones on my TBR and also I've had this book for so many years now probably about at least three or four years on my TBR but I always was interested in it and I'm really glad that I finally got round to it it is a adult novel uh, focusing around mental health and it focuses on the main character of oh no I can't remember his name Matt who's disabled older brother uh, dies in a tragic accident when they're both very young on holiday I think Matt is only about eight at the time and he really loves his older brother and really looked up to him and everything and he also blames himself for his death so it's kind of just a whole novel about grief and it follows Matt right from kind of the incident when happened a little bit before it during the incident as well as the aftermath for like over a number of years until he's around the age of 19 and it's just kind of about how he deals with the grief or rather doesn't deal with it until he's quite a lot older and how that really affects his mental health. The book really jumps around quite a lot in between the past when he's kind of giving us snippets and flashbacks of what happened to the older brother as well as present day when he's kind of living by himself when he's at school like all these kind of different parts of his life so it does jump around quite a lot but I didn't find it really hard to follow and it was actually a really really engrossing read I love the fact that it only really slowly reveals to you what happened to the older brother so there's almost like a suspense and mystery about actually what caused his death and I thought the mental health aspects were done really well. I know that the author is a mental health nurse, so I think the representation here was really, really good. Especially how Matt kind of declined his mental health and how that led to him being put into a mental health hospital and how that affected everything. So I think the mental health representation here was really good. Especially the ending was quite optimistic, but it wasn't like an everything solved situation, which I thought was really, really good. And yeah, I just really love this book and I give it four stars. And the only other complete book that I read in December was Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by David Levithan and Rachel Cohen. I'm also really glad that I finally got round to this because it's been on my TBR for about five years. I think it's on my good reads that I tried reading it in like 2011 or something crazy. But didn't finish it because I love Christmas but literally once it hits Boxing Day all my kind of festive feelings just go so I'm not really in the mood to read Christmas books after like Christmas day so normally I don't finish them in time so obviously I only really want to read this at Christmas so I managed to squeeze it in there and I actually really love this I didn't expect to like it as much as I did I mainly listened to the audiobook and I found the female narrator for the character of Lily a little bit annoying but then the character of Lily is kind of a little bit annoying so I think it did really fit her character even if it was a little bit grating to listen to and this tells the story of Dash and Lily who write uh, messages and kind of dares to each other in this notebook that Lily hides in the Strand the big bookshop I think in New York and Dash finds it and uh, they're kind of like leaving a trail across New York for each other and they're both having difficult Christmases for various reasons so they really bond over this and then yeah it kind of it's like a love story but it's not intensely like love at first sight or soppy there's a lot of ups and downs and again the ending was kind of hopeful but not like a, everything's tied in a bow we're gonna live happily ever after type thing so I really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would and I also gave this four stars I'm not going to be too optimistic with my January reading but I do have a couple of things on my TBR the first one is Mr Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore which I have started um, I'm only about 15 pages in though because I'm filming this a little bit before the end of the month but I know I'm not gonna really get anything else done in the next week so I definitely want to finish this off at the very start of January because again I mainly listen to the audiobooks it'll be good for like to and from work it's only about eight hours long and at the minute it just seems like a really whimsical story all about books and this guy gets a part-time job at the bookshop and it seems not dystopian but there's like hints of weirdness in the world I don't know if it's magical realism or dystopian but something like a little bit off with 
things but so far I'm really enjoying it and I think it's just gonna be a really quirky fun read and the main thing I want to read this January is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass because Amy challenged me to buddy read this with her in January even though we had already talked about the idea of it but I'll leave her video down below where she basically sent out a request saying will I buddy read this with her and invited any of you guys to also read it along with us and um, we haven't set like a time frame I think just January in general uh, but we'll probably try and start it at the same time and read it alongside each other but um, I'm really excited for this this is obviously the sequel to A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass, which I read in 2017 and really really loved so I'm very excited to jump into this sequel especially because it's so many people's like favourite books I'm a little bit scared of the hype but the fact I enjoyed the first one so much more than I expected makes me feel like I will really enjoy this. A Court of Mist and Fury is quite a big book but I do have the audiobook for it as well as the fact I'm really hyped to read it so I do think I could get through it quite quickly so another book I really want to pick up this month is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline because again this book has been on my TBR for too many years now and the film is coming out in 2018 and I don't want to be spoiled for it through the film and also because I said I'm like really into Zelda and video games at the minute I feel like it's the prime time for me to really love all the references to things like that uh, like the 80s culture everyone always talks about with this book so yeah hopefully I'll enjoy it it'll definitely be like a difference to the other two books on my TBR this month and all I know is that it's about like virtual reality world that people escape to because everything's kind of gone to rubbish so people escape to this like oasis thing and yeah I just know everyone loves it so I really hope that I do too uh, it's kind of long because the font is really really small but again I think I can get this done and it's also one of my books on my 12 books I want to read in the 12 months of 2018 list so it's good to get one ticked off early if I have time around all of that, which I probably won't, but I just thought I'd pick another book just in case, that is The Humans by Matt Haig because I love Matt Haig and I don't know if this is going up before or after my favourite books of 2017 list, but he's on there twice because I really, really love his books. They just hit the right spot with me. The writing's great. I love the kind of topics and stuff. And this is one of his first books I ever got, actually. Robin got it me for a present and it's pretty short again the audiobook's about seven hours so I feel like if I'm commuting and I want something a little bit more relaxed this will be really really fun I think it's about like aliens coming to earth and is kind of trying to explain to them about humanity and how humanity works so I think it's going to be very very interesting and if I don't get to this in January I'll hopefully get to it in February because I really want to read this. So these are all the books that I want to read in January. I don't think it's too optimistic actually. Um, now I've seen them all together compared to other months where the pile's like this big it's not too bad. Also I have a resolutions video coming up where I talk about the fact that I really want um, it's not focus on to how many books I read but also my pages so I want to try and average about a thousand pages a month so the fact that this book is like 650 pages even if I read two of these I'll probably hit that goal so if I read even two of these I'll be really really happy but I'm very excited to get a little bit more into reading once I'm back at work because it means I'll be taken away from the Nintendo Switch a little bit so I'll be a little bit more productive. Let me know down below how your December reading went and what you're hoping to start the new year off and read in January and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!